For cancer patients, time is life. Patients should be able to see a healthcare provider, receive a diagnosis, and start treatment as soon as possible. But that's not always the way it works. Say you're on Medicare and you go into the hospital for a biopsy. Hospitals may delay follow-up diagnostic testing for 14 days after discharge because of reimbursement rules. That means physicians must wait for two weeks while their patients' tumors grow larger and their lives shorter. In some instances, genetic testing could indicate whether a targeted cancer medicine might work. But on top of the delay, that testing is rarely covered by insurance. Patients must pay out of pocket or forego potentially life-saving information. While doctors wait for answers, patients may start chemotherapy to delay cancer progression. But chemo might not be the most effective treatment for the patient. And it can have devastating side effects. The end result? The patient suffers unnecessarily, while the healthcare system spends unnecessarily on ineffective treatment. And the patient's tumor may grow. Optimal cancer care demands policies that support access to timely testing and diagnosis. With common sense policy change, the healthcare system can reduce patient suffering, cancer progression, wasted time, and unnecessary costs. Because every day spent waiting for results is a day patients could move one step closer to remission. Learn more about patient-centered cancer care at allianceforpatientaccess.org.